Hi guys, welcome to the Vat and Gallery, and today I'm going to give you a bit of an instructional video on how to diamond paint. If you're new to this craft and you'd like to learn more about it, um, I'd like to give you a bit of instruction. There are tons of instructional videos on YouTube, and so I'm glad you uh, stumbled upon mine, and I hope you stay and watch and enjoy and learn something from it. And please don't forget to comment down below and let me know how I did with this instructional video. Um, so let's begin. This is a canvas and there's a picture on it and I bought this canvas on Amazon. I've been at this craft since April of this year and I've bought, this is my ninth canvas. I've bought them all on Amazon. I have been to AliExpress. I've been to, um, I've been to Diamond Painting Club. I've been to a lot of different painting companies. And I just said, I'm gonna start small with Amazon and see how far I get. Amazon, if you go on Amazon, by the way, I live in Canada. So my Amazon is different from the one in the States. You guys probably, most undoubtedly, have a better selection. But we have a pretty good selection too. Um, but, our Amazon has quite a few um, diamond paintings. They have accessories. I'm really surprised, but diamond painting seems to have taken a big storm ever since COVID-19 hit in March or fe February, March. And now that everybody's home, they're looking for something to do and they're quiet and downtime. So I've seen a lot. I've seen this craft explode all over the internet. Um, so it's very easy. If you can do cross stitch and count by number, you can do diamond painting. It's so easy. And what it is, it's it, like I said, it's a canvas. And then the, this is a legend. And all these numbers have symbols that correspond to a symbol or a number or a letter on the canvas. So, and then they send you resin beads like this they don't come like this i put them in a bag this way this is how i prepared my beads and i will do i'm expecting a couple of um new kits in the mail soon so when i when i get them i'll do two separate videos i will do an unboxing and i will also do a kit up with me and that's what it's called when you prepare your diamond painting um to start diamond painting like it's not a big deal, but people have done videos on how to start up, like how to prepare to do a diamond painting. A lot of people will use baggies like this, and some people have, um, have like if you'll notice the more experienced diamond painters on YouTube, they use containers. Um, I believe it's called Harborfront. I'm in Canada. Harborfront is not available to me. So, um, but that apparently that's, uh, that's a really good make of, uh, containers for your diamond. I've tried containers. Um, not sure I like them. I like the baggies. So, and because this is a small, like to experienced diamond painters, diamond painters, this is a snack size. To me, this is lunch or dinner because this is what I'm comfortable doing at the moment. I may graduate to a bigger size eventually. I've never done smaller than 30 by 40, which is interesting. There is a smaller size, but I just chose one off the internet. I didn't know I was like a new person like you watching this video. And I'm like, where do I start? Well, I'll go on it on Amazon and just get a picture that I like, order it. It comes in the mail. If you're on Amazon, it takes about a week. If you have Amazon Prime, it takes a day or two. Um, so luckily for me, my son has Amazon Prime. So I've been getting them through him and they come very quickly. Um, and they come in bags. There are other companies that send their to, uh, that send their diamond paintings in boxes. Like um, uh, there is a company on Amazon. I think it's Timmy. Tim, don't quote me on it. It's 
um, a company on Amazon and you can see in the picture that it comes in a box and but a lot of them on Amazon most of the time come bagged and like I said when I get my next kit um, you will see um, so anyway this is your kit let's start so this is your tool your your first tool is a boat or diamond tr diamond tray so you put your diamonds in there the ones you're working on this is a diamond pen not all diamond pens will come with this tip I got this tip from a friend I did not buy it your diamond paintings in the kits will come like I mean your diamond tools will come like this with a boat so this is a standard tool kit boat a piece of wax and your pen depending on where you get your diamond painting kits from it could be a little more could you could get two pieces of wax you could get and it also depends on how big your painting is so if you get a really big painting you could get two boats two p two or three pieces of wax one or two diamond painting pens and a couple of uh, multi -plazers. This tip at the end of my pen is called a multi -placer. This holds three drills. There are multi that go up to 15. I'm not sure I could place 15 drills down at once. I probably could. I shouldn't say that, but even three sometimes requires you to adjust them. So I'm used to using a single placer. It takes more time, but at least you don't, I don't think you have to adjust as much as if you were using a multi placer. Sorry about my nails. I should have done them for the video. But anyway, so that's that. Um, so you have your tools. Oh, and also always beside you um, when you're working, you should have a container, a small container that you can place um, some garbage drills. Sometimes in the kits that you receive, even the top-notch ones have gotten uh, garbage drills. Garbage means there is holes on the drills. There's also little uh, pieces on, on the ends of the drills. You'll know when you see a drill, it doesn't look quite right. You'll put it in here. You don't need that on your diamond painting. And I think that's it. Uh, so let me show you how diamond painting works. It's very easy, like I said, if you, um, I forgot where I was going to go with the statement. It's very easy to diamond paint. If you can do cross stitch, if you can do paint my number, you can do diamond painting. So let me open my light. Ooh, there's a glare. Okay. Oh, there she is. You can see her. Let me try and bring you up closer. And already I'm working on the number three, so you can see already there is a three right there to be drilled. So I have picked up the number three on my canvas and I'm going to place it on the three. Whoops, lift up. Here's another thing you should know. Uh, this is poured glue. There are two types of glue that you use that is used for diamond painting kits. There's poured glue and uh, double-sided glue. Poured, the way you know is if it's clear tape like this that's on top of your canvas, it's poured glue. If there is opaque paper on your canvas when you receive it, that means it's double-sided adhesive. So this is a poured glued canvas. So I lift my pl uh, plastic. Always lift your plastic before you start because it won't, your diamonds won't stick to the plastic. And then you take your pen and you go and you just place the diamond in the square corresponding to the number on the canvas. So I'm working on the number three. So I'm looking for all the number threes on my canvas. You can start anywhere you like. You can start bottom, bottom right and move up. You can, uh, separate your canvas into parts with using parchment paper or if you have a double adhesive um, painting uh, you can use the 
you can use the opaque paper that comes with your canvas and section it out that way. I don't do either. I just feel like I'm all over the place and you might say, well, that's not really effective. It's worked for me. I'm not really OCD about this kind of thing and I'm not saying it's an OCD type of behavior, but it doesn't bother me. Let's just put it that way. I just, I find a number three and I go put it down. A lot of the times I'll, I'll look for, you know, I'll look for a section where it has quite a few of them and I'll just stay there for a while until I'm done. The correct way would probably be to section it off and just use that one section. Um, you use that one section and you put all the diamonds that belong in that section down and then you cover that section and move on to the next section. That's probably the correct way. So like I said in the beginning, I've been doing diamond painting since April and it's very relaxing after a hard day. Do you see that? I just picked it up and put it down. So as you can see, that um, is diamond painting pretty much in a nutshell, basic. I'm sure there's lots of things I could tell you more, but I can do that in future uh, videos. If you stick with me, I can, I can, we can play, play it by ear and I can teach you as we go along. Because like with everything, there, it's always like you have to have the situation happen in, in order for me to tell you about it. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, there's lots more to come. I have more um, diamond paintings on the way and I hope to be able to do um, unboxings. Uh, we'll do a kit up with me. Um, I'll do, if you like, comment down below and let me know if you want to do, um, if you want me to do a Q&A or something. I know it's a little early because I'm relatively new at this and I don't have as many subscribers as some, but I could do it. Uh, so please comment down below, subscribe, like, and I hope to come back and see you soon. Thanks for watching so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.